hello guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to create a buttonhole using your sewing machine and also how to fix your button using your sewing machine so if you're interested in this video please watch it to the end and if you haven't subscribed please do so like comment and share my videos thank you for the purpose of this video, I'll be using this portable sewing machine that was gifted to me by my sister. I did an unboxing video of it. If you haven't seen it, please you can go back to my previous video and check it out. On the machine, we have a diagram that shows the different stitches that we can actually use to create our buttonhole. Those are the stitches that we are going to work with. So here, I'm turning the knob um, on my sewing machine, which is showing me the different stitches we have. They are, each of them are labeled one, two, three, four. So with that, you can easily know which one you're going first. You know, you're going with two second, you're going with three third, and then you're going with four lastly. So those are the stitches that we are going to work with. So the first thing that you're going to do is to change from your general footer to your bottom hole footer. So this is the bottom hole footer. This is what it looks like. We have the red lines on it. Each of the line indicates the size of the bottom hole that you are about to create. So you can just decide which size you want to go for depending on the size of the button that you are using. So I'm fixing my button hole footer to my machine and then we are going to start working. So don't forget to mark your button hole placement point on your outfit. This will make your work so much easier. So as you can see from my neckline to the first bottom hole point, I measured three inches. That's what I'm going to make because I don't want it to be too low. Then the rest, I'm going to measure four, four inches for all of it. So by doing this, I won't have to like come back to my table and be marking the point each time I want to create a button hole. So please just mark your button hole outfit and also your button point on your outfit before you start working. first of all you can easily use a different fabric to test run your um, buttonhole that's what I did before I went on to do this on my actual outfit so that I will actually know how it will look like and I also correct every mistake because this is actually my first time of doing this I didn't want to <laughs> make any mistake so here yeah, I'm showing you one two three four which indicates the different buttonhole stitches so I'm just going to go ahead to explain it while I'm creating the buttonhole so I'm using the one now to achieve the first straight buttonhole stitch. This is also just a straight line down the whole buttonhole. So after then you turn the knob to two to achieve the lower button. That's just like a closing point at the end of your button buttonhole rather. So I'm going to turn it to three where I'm creating the second straight line that is directly opposite the first straight line. I'm turn my knob to the last closing stitch which is four to just end the bottom hole voila it's as simple as that this is what it looks like and i'm going to be using my seam ripper to create a hole in between the bottom hole where my button is going to go through so just as easy as that you can actually also create your bottom hole and if you don't understand if you have any question please comment down below thank you Fixing the button. So fixing the button was actually a tax for me because I've never done this before. This is actually me changing the footer from the bottom hole footer to the bottom footer. So here we're just going to be using four two stitch for the button to fix the button. It's just um, we're not going to be turning the knob to any point. We're just going to use one stitch for this. So this is me also trying to turn a different fabric to see what it's going to look like. If it works and then I'm going to now go back to my actual um, outfit and continue the work so yes this is me trying it and it came out quite nice so I had to change it back to my fabric to continue so it was actually a lot of work like <laughs> it was crazy but I'm so glad that I actually did it because it actually came out so fine and I loved it and this is how I'm going to be fixing my buttons on my outfit I wouldn't need to take it to the market to do that I also no need to take my buttonhole to the market to fix so this is how I'm going to be fixing my buttons yeah I did it mama I did it <laughs> so yes guys um, it was fun doing this I enjoyed doing this 
I'm going to be creating more videos like this. Please, if you don't understand, please, you can just drop a comment. If you have more um, advice to give to me, since this is actually my first time, you can also do that in the comment section. I'm going to respond to all the comments and I'll appreciate if you do like this video. I'll appreciate if you comment on my video. I appreciate if you share my video. This YouTube thing is is actually very taxing, but um, I have fun creating this video and I also want to create more videos like this for you people and I hope it happens. So guys, this is me finishing up the last buttonhole and it was a very great work. I'm gonna cut off the excess traits from the button hole i wouldn't want to send this to my client neither would i want to wear um, an outfit that has thread hanging around it's so so pretty it's so pretty i'm so glad i did this this was my first trial and it came out nice it came out quite neat surprisingly and it came out quite beautiful so this is what it looks like how do what do you think what do you think about this so this is me trying it on this is actually not my outfit that's why the sleeve is quite long but yeah that's what it looks like thank you so much please subscribe like and share, share.